Now I have created a simple Python library. This is the second type of user defined keywords. This library has only one keyword, but in terms of Python, this is called a function. This is how you define a function. You can see the structure is very similar to robot framework. The reality is robot framework is very much similar to Python because it is developed on Python only. Now, if you are not understanding this Python code, that is fine. You can learn Python later, but this is very simple only. You define a function in Python with def keyword, def function name and the arguments. So this is just a description. This is a function which accepts two arguments, first number, second number. It just adds them and return back the result. Very simple code. Now this way you can define your own library with Python and you can make use of it in your robot framework file. How to use this Python library in your robot framework? Let's come to this robot file. Now first before using any keyword, the first thing is import that library. How to import a user defined library? The structure is similar to how we import a Selenium library and other open source libraries because Selenium library itself is a Python file only. It is written in Python only. So the keyword is same library and you have to import whichever Python file you need. For Selenium library, it is installed through pip. So you are just putting Selenium library, but this is a user defined library. So you have to give the correct path where the Python file is located. In our case, it is located inside resource folder calculus.py. Now I am creating one test case, test case to Python. If you want to use the Python add keyword that is provided by Python library, simple just type the keyword Python add keyword. So any function that is defined within the Python library can be directly called as a keyword from robot framework. Now Python add keyword is the function that is defined in Python library and it accepts two values, first number and second number. Here let's give one, here let's give two. Now this function adds two keyword and return back the result. So you need to get the result into some variable. So now we are getting back the returned result into result and let's log it to console. Simple. Now we can run this test case and let's look into what is the result that is coming. We expect three, but the result will be different. You can see it is showing 12, not exactly 12, 1, 2, because robot framework sends any value as a string. When you just send 1 and 2, robot framework send it as a string. So the Python library understand that is string and as it is a string, we need to concatenate the two values, 1, 2, like that. Now, if you want to add two values, then you have to send an integer. Now, pause the video, take it as an exercise, try to send it as an integer. How to add the two values? Okay, I think you might have tried it now. Let me show the result. There are multiple ways to perform this activity. Either you can use the keyword convert to integer and you can convert a string into integer and you can send it. That is also an option. But the simplest would be you can put a dollar curly brace sign here so that robot framework sends this as a integer instead of string. When we give this variable structure, it sends the value inside this as an integer. So now as integer is sent, the Python will perform addition operation. Run. See, now it is returning three. So this is one way to perform the user defined library. Definitely you have to learn Python. Once you are familiar with robot framework, start with Python. As I mentioned, the Python structure and everything will be similar to robot framework. So it would be easy for you to learn.